Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to work out the equation of a plane which contains one line or which is formed by one line and which is parallel to another. Okay, so let me call this equation of a plane containing or it's formed by one line, so containing or formed by uh, a line, and which is parallel to another. So let me underline this. So let me draw you a diagram. So basically we have one line and that is contained on this plane. And supposing if the equation of that line which is contained in the plane is given by R equals A1 plus lambda M1, okay? And supposing if we have another line which is parallel to this plane, so the equation of this line parallel to the plane is R equals A2 plus mu M2. Okay, so we're working out the equation which is formed by or which is containing this line R equals A1 plus lambda M1 and which is parallel, so this line is parallel to this plane. So it's not contained on this plane, but it's parallel to the plane. So that has equation R equals A2 plus mu M2, okay? Now, let me show you how to work out the normal vector of this plane, N, okay? Now, to work out the normal vector N of this plane, we need to take the vector product of M1 and M2. So remember, Using our knowledge of the vector product discussed in the previous video, by calculating M1 cross M2, you're working out a vector which is perpendicular to both M1 as well as M2. Okay, so to calculate the normal vector N, okay, let me take a red pen and underline this, this is important. So to work out n the normal vector, it's the vector or the cross product of m1 and m2. So you need to apply the cross product to the direction vectors of these two lines. So remember, that vector will be perpendicular to uh, both of these um, direction vectors, m1 and m2, and hence perpendicular to the plane. Okay. And to calculate capital P, so in a previous video where I discussed how to work out the equation of a plane, okay, so let me just find that particular part. So over here in the previous video, the scalar product equation of the plane had the formula R dot N equals capital P capital P is A dot N, and remember A in particular is the position vector of a fixed point on the plane, okay? So over here, we need to work out capital P. So remember, capital P is A dot N. So I said earlier, that A is a position vector of a fixed point on your plane. Now, looking at this line, which is contained on the plane, A1 is a position vector of a fixed point on that line, and that fixed point is also contained on the plane, okay? So you need to take A to be A1 in this case. Don't take A to be A2, because remember, that line is not contained on your plane, Okay, that line is just parallel to your plane. Okay, so take your A to be A1. Okay, so that is how we'd work out capital P 
that is how we work out the normal vector n for the plane. Okay. So that completes this video. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful. In the next video, I'll go through an example of uh, in order to show you how this works. Okay. So I hope to see you then. Thank you.